He talking about that boy went wrong when he hired them gang members. <laughs> Shit, let's get into it. But you know, Charleston boy, he gonna break this down for a nigga right now. Yeah. Uh, you were in L.A., didn't stop by no jumper. He, uh, well, a actually, Adam said he's canceling all of his shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I wouldn't dare stop by no jumper. They set up F FYBG Main to get robbed. Uh, no, nah, I ain't even heard about that. John just got shot. Uh, no. Nah. He exposed his best buddy, who he started the podcast with, House Phone, for sleeping with the with the, with the the Transformers. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, he ain't wrong for that, boy. You better expose Jit, man. You started off with Jit, man. Now, that's dirty in your face. Jit over here doing all this Transformer Optimus Prime motherfucking Bumblebee-ass shit. Bro, you got it, bro. You got it, bro. Now, expose Jit. I get that. But all this other shit, bro, you setting niggas up coming on your podcast, the J-Mains, FYB, j man all that other... Nah, bro, what type of business is you doing over there, bro? Yeah, what type bro. of shit you doing, bro? Just because you getting extorted, niggas doing you wrong on me, you got to go ahead and put that on to them other artists you having out there. That's that weird shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, cancel Adam 22. Get him gone, bro. Get him gone. You know, the trans... So he even put the trans... So he even put the trans on the, on the platform. So they do all kinds nah, that's of just weird. handed cutthroat stuff over there. So I'm about empowerment. I'm about progression. Uh, and I try to stay far away from anybody that's, that, that, that has ties to colors. Gang bangers. That boy said he about what? Ain't you the same nigga that was just dissing the last video we reacted on? Ain't you the same nigga that be talking shit about babies? <laughs> this, dog. that, dogs, cats, turtles, frogs? Ain't that you? Gotcha, bitch. Bro, you talking about you uplift people. I ain't trying to hear that. As adult men. Especially I fought you, but I fought you for what you do. Don't act like you over here doing some other shit. That's not you, bro. Adult black man. So that's why so much drum over there, homie. They can't thrive. Mm. There's no substance. Yeah, he's yeah, he he fired almost the entire staff. Well, cause they got Yeah, it don't be no substance though, cause of who they ran by, you feel me? Like they ran by a white dude, Adam 22, that's trying to do some culture stuff. So of course stuff not gonna go right, bro. Cause Adam over here trying to push it his way, you feel me? Push narratives, make people look this type of way, doing all this green stuff behind the scenes. So of course shit gonna look bad with no substance up front, cause look what they trying to portray, look what they trying to do. They ain't doing nothing positive, yo boy. They doing straight green shit. Always trying to get the setups, trying to get the viral moments. Of course you ain't gonna have no substance cause you trying too hard. I that boy shot over there. Mm. See, it's been a lot, of, it's been a lot of shootings centered and revolved and you know centered around what goes on at 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 DG at at, at the boy at the no jumper Adam 22 thing mm. so the Adam no jumper boy been pausing to the California gang culture and he pay everybody there under seven hundred dollars they don't make no more than a thousand dollars huh if that mm. Damn. some of the some of the people he paid for the interview they might get five hundred dollars y'all need to stop doing interviews over there too like come on now Y'all know y'all going over there to get exposed or made fun of for a viral moment. You settling for $500? You must want to go viral that bad, boy. I ain't gonna lie, boy. Some of y'all probably do want virality more than the money, ain't it? You can have that virus. I don't want to go viral for real, boy. Let me get that check in. You heard me? Let me get that breeze. Let me get that breeze. You feel me? Let's get some positivity through this. Like, yeah, y'all finna do me wrong shit. First of all, I ain't going for none of that. Let me get $10,000 up front, too. Yeah, y'all can ask y'all weird questions. I ain't answering shit. He ain't lying. So I'm saying, man, what? Man. I'm redirecting all types of shit. Just like they do. They redirect. They try to push it in this this direction. We going this direction. Guess what? I'm an artist. We doing music shit for this interview. We doing music shit, yo. That don't even make sense. Y'all, what, you want to freestyle? So I think it's something more to it over there. I think it's just a bunch. I think it's a bunch of men who all huddle up in the closet together, and they all keep one another's secrets. You, hint, hint. In the closet. In the closet. It's dark. Hmm. Dark. And, and you can't shine the light in there because you got to have permission to go in there. Okay. I think they just waiting to come out the closet over at, 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 at No Jump for Adam 22. He's saying they're part of the alphabeticals. In the closet, down low brothers, uh, and, and they like to play in the closet. Mm. You think you think where he went wrong? Well, Bumble being Optimus Prime, just Transformers entire, and shit. Well, most of the, the staff on No Jumper are all gang affiliates. Oh. Uh, and they got that crip dude over there. Doesn't go wrong doing that. You gotta, you gotta have some diversity. You can't have all gang members. None of them have podcast experience. None of them have articulation. Mm. They don't have guests that have substance conversation. Mm. It's either gang banging, porn, fighting, drama, or a Charleston white topic. Other than that, they ain't got nothing else to talk about. 
They ain't got nothing else to talk about. So, you know, I'm, I'm probably 40% of their content. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. and then you don't see nobody that goes on, <coughs> on that platform and blows up. DFW, Crip Mac, none of them goes there and become bigger than what they were. They don't get invited to go nowhere else outside of California to do an interview. Man, nobody reposts some. some of the things they say if it's not drama field. They don't get reposts from on site to say, homie, they're not, that, that podcast is not really embraced in the black culture. Nah. When you look out amongst the black culture, you don't see them niggas. Homie, That's a Cali podcast, but ain't nothing wrong with that, though. You feel me? They niche down to their own people. You feel me? Big they ain't making content for everybody. Not everybody want to make content radio. for everybody, Charleston. You got to know that, bro. Not everybody's as big as you, bro. Not everybody, you feel so me? You, I've bro. been able to elevate and Chill. progress from just doing interviews. Just what I just said. That's you, bro. That's not everybody else, bro. You is a different type of person, bro. You a different type of breed. You go viral for damn near everything you say. Because look, you over here talking shit again, bro. Damn. Oh. And you blow up a lot of people's podcasts, too. And I've blown up. And not only that. Now you do that. And I put the people around me in position to have their yeah. own channels and stuff now. Facts. OG same. Mm -hmm. That real? So, so nah, homie. Uh, I, I, what I see... Adam No Jumper 22, I see him as the new Jerry Heller. Hmm. The new Jerry Heller without with the, 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 the NWA boys, he got he got he got him, he got him an easy E with Wack 100 and Brick Baby. <laughs> That'll sell out the rest of the crew for Jerry. That boy do be having whack on there a lot. I ain't gonna lie. This is NWA. That's one relationship I give I give Adam twenty two right there. That was a smart relationship he built right there, boy. Cause you know what? Boy, that boy plugged in for real. He all types of plugged in, boy. Nah, especially moving around in Cali, all them gangbangers you be trying to have on that. But I see he damn near fell out with whack. So I think that's the real reason the show really is getting canceled. Nah, cause boom, what other protection you got? You fell out with whack. But you thought these other dudes was finna help you now? Nah, bro, it was always whack, bro. So, so, now nah, it makes sense. I ain't gonna lie, it make it make complete sense now. Wet one hundred was that boy protection. Yeah, and Jerry all over again. You don't see nobody that they putting on from this. Whether they doing porn, homie. What's what's the dude from back on Fig Brother name? Homie, he's sitting up there with a dirty t shirt on, holding his arm with a dirty t shirt on, stained and dirty. Who not T Rail, but uh, I think uh, T Rail, bro his brother, whatever, and his brother. Yeah. So he got two brothers going against each other. He done pitted two brothers against each other, blood brother. And he sit back and laugh. And now he done fired them and cut their head off. Now them boys scrambling back at the park trying to get the gang bang. But homie, the gang banging talk only has substance in California. And they desensitized to it. So all it does, that's their new soap opera. That's their new days of our lives. That's their new general. Yeah, that's some Cali shit for sure. General hospital because it don't bring value and it doesn't add empowerment nowhere to the L.A. streets, the L.A. community, nor black people that's living in that L.A. Long Beach surrounding areas that embraces that gang culture. Today we posted uh, El Salvador, um, people that... People were complaining about violence in their neighborhood. And the president of El Salvador, he brought out 2,000 soldiers just to one neighborhood yeah. just to arrest some people. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. See, I remember South Dallas was having some problems probably about 8, 10 years ago. And it was a lot of violence and a lot of shooting. Greg Abbott and them, they sent down Texas Department of Public Safety, DPS officers, state troopers. The whole neighborhood start hollering because when the state troopers pull you over, it ain't none of that woo 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 woo. They direct and specific. Same with that military soldier. Ain't no lip and talking back, and they done gave you an order. That's what we need. We need Trump tried to do it, but the black PR, we don't need the national. Yeah, we need this. Mm. We nah, need this. but hell no. Nah. They talking about some different shit right here. I ain't trying. Yeah, nah, it's that political. Topic right America here. Has all this money. We pay all these taxes. 
And we don't have nothing like that. I mean, cities like Chicago, St. Louis, Philly, um, Baltimore. Um, we we have nothing like that, man. 30, 30 people shot in the weekend in Chicago? Oh, uh, that's a Democratic... It's your Democratic governor, homie. That's your Democratic politicians uh, who make it easy for crime to be rampant. So when you look at these cities in America and you see where's the most crime, high crime area, homie, it's in most Democratic voting places. It's, in, it's where most people get government assistance, government entitlement programs are pushed by way of, 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 of liberal and democratic policies. That's where you see violence amongst our people at. Mm. And that's documented. Every major city, every, you look at it, homie, it's, a, it's a somebody who votes Democrat, at, whether they white or black, but they're, they're aligned and tied to this liberal policies that's being projected and propagated to us as if it's the only thing Should make only it sense right here. we have in this country. Yeah, it's documented too, but I can't argue this. But you don't think the country thrives off violence? You know, with so much money made in the prison. Go look this up. No. You don't think so? No. This country thrives off capitalism. Mm. Consumerism. Uh, you saw how peaceful it was. Everybody had money after the pandemic, during the pandemic. Violence kind of went down a little bit when everybody had money. Yeah, yeah, them bought guns. <coughs> Yeah, they bought ammunition, but they sure sat on it and <clears throat> didn't really use it. When money is flowing, homie, violence is down. Right now, ain't no money flowing. Look who your president is. There's no opportunities that get no money. There's no avenues to even, to, to, to even point you in a direction where resources is available. So, man, you know... There's plenty of guns in this country. How do you feel about the new Louisiana law? Starting August 1st, um, any major charges, any major crimes, is no more good time. You got to serve every day. Every day. And this is coming after what I was what we were talking about. The the 18-year-olds can have can have weapons. If you're not a felon, you can have a weapon, no training, no classes, no none of that. Any major, any major charges or any major crimes, it's no free time, it's no parole, it's no probation, none of that. But that sounds crazy. You have to serve every day. Man, shit, how I feel about the new law where you don't get no good time? Oh, uh, that's how yeah, I should no be. Yeah, no good time. Oh, uh, that's how I should be, man. Oh, uh, because you need something to deter. Right now, I don't think we it have is enough laws. Because you got to earn a good time. You got to earn a parole. To you got to earn. You feel me? Uh, not just you got to show that it was changed. And that was still impossible to get back then. They have been, been wanting to abolish that in that case. Mm. Yeah, but that so sounds like a plan, of course. Now, Make it easier to do crime. Put poles out there for everybody to access it. You feel me? We just for them to do some go goofy, green ass shit. Like, oh, yeah. Now, let's say you had a little petty charge. That you really weren't supposed to get that, but side for they go accidentally, purposely sentence your ass to max, max sentence. And now you got to do that whole thing. Ain't no parole. Ain't no, you get out 50. No, you're done. You're done. They put you behind the wall. People forgot about you. you fan forget about you by a year, too. Family, you turn into a ghost nowadays. Boy. That's pretty much body and bitches. Murder. 50 years to a 20 year old, but that's your whole life for real. Like, ain't no getting out. You ain't worried about no parole or nothing. What's going to happen in there? And then bitch getting more time in there, too. Psh, that don't sound right at all, boy. I, yeah, we, we need some deterrent. <coughs> and I think that's the problem. That we don't have... In that case, uh, take away crazy hospitals for... We ain't white seen nobody get the death penalty. Fuck it. And, and 30 days after they've been convicted. So you don't think that letting people who turn 18 have guns... And I know you said it before, it's, it's good for self-defense... But 18 years old, having a gun, it could put you in some, some, some tricky situations. As At a young age, you're not thinking right. You're thinking t off of emotions. It uh, could put you, it could I, put you I, in I some gave, tricky I gave situations. My, I gave my son a gun at 18. I gave my own son a gun at 18. I take my daughter to the gun range. They've been shooting guns and messing with guns since they was little bitty kids. 
Uh, I, I could lead a gun out and around and the kid know not to touch the gun because he's been taught about gun safety. He know what this gun could do. So if you have that knowledge and that understanding, see, the 18-year-old only fucked up, I'm only messed up with the gun, homie, when he coming from a dysfunctional family and he walking around angry every day with the gun looking to hurt people as a hurt person. But if your kid is coming from a household Facts. responsible, you'll let him drive a car at 15, 16. You'll let him join the military at 18 and learn how to go work the rifles, drive the tanks, blow up the bombs, shoot the thing. So why not? Mm. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I advocate for, for that law. Yeah, I think if an 18-year-old can, can go to the military... Uh, the eighteen-year-old uh, should be able to 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 legally carry a gun. Facts. At eighteen, straight like old. that. And if you can be a cop at eighteen, uh, all that. You also same shit. That, fuck you talk about. That, okay, now the Diddy video. Yeah, it is irresponsible and, people uh, out there with shit, but that's the people. You said that. Uh, don't blame it on what's the name. What's the name? Forget. Don't what's the name by yeah, itself. Yeah, he, he it gotta be what's forget. the name. You uh, feel me? You gotta think, homie. That was ten some ten fifteen. And why you keep years your ago. off the? You heard me. That was eight years ago. You heard me. Eight years ago. So y'all mad at something I did eight years ago? And and this what we do? This is part of my relationship. This, every woman I'm with, I do this with. So why y'all mad? She never not once called the police. All she ever wanted when she left this relationship was some money. And I kept saying, no, I ain't giving you no money. She finally got with a white dude that can go get a lawyer to go get us hard them some new money now. All she wanted was some money. She never wanted him to go to jail. Not once have she said he should be in jail for the rest of his life. Not once have she came out and made that statement. Her only pursuit was, I want to be compensated. Mm. See, I know women, when they trying to get away, they run down the hallway butt naked, barefooted, no bags. They're not trying to carry no bags. They don't care about the Louis Vuitton purse. They don't care about the watches inside the bag. None of that. But you also got to remember, if y'all believe karma is real, because y'all say karma is real, when he used to cheat on Kim Porter with her, she used to be present, according yep. to documentation, when he used to whoop Kim Porter. She used to be antagonistic. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how they do. She was down with him when he was whooping Kim. So what make her think them whoopings don't come to her when she saw this kind of behavior in this man? But hmm. what happens is the, the rewards outweigh the abuse. The rewards outweigh the abuse. Hmm. That's why when she got the money, why she just wanted the money. Silent. She ain't said nothing. She she just want that money, boy. That's Out it. Of every ten men, how many do you think hit their women? Seven. Hmm. You said yeah. what? According to domestic violence statistics. According to so many men in jail, I, I believe seven out of ten men at some point in their life have physically assaulted a woman or put their hands on a woman, whether they're shoving, pushing, whatever. shoving, pushing, have Damn. done it. Mm. I know I done been driving and in the back seat, foul, and look back <laughs> up, she got a black eye. Man, you see what you made me do? Let's get on. Yeah, so I man, come on now. If we, that's if we go be real. Everybody not so going to go. Now when they come pick his ass up for a minute. Oh, uh, homie, you can go nah, down. Nah, I don't want blame other people. A man you. who got domestic violence assault charges. But I'm saying, I'm going to play devil's advocate. Men, men who hit women love those women that they hit. If he, if he, if he love you, he won't hit you. You lying to me? <laughs> Don't you hit your kids. <laughs> Don't you hit your kids and try to make your kid believe it. I'm doing this because I love you. Now turn around. Mm. No, come on, mom, daddy, please. No, I'm only doing this because I love you. Mm. I'm showing my kid that because I love you so much and I'm angry with you, I'm going to inflict harm <laughs> that causes pain to you because I love you. So why I can't do it's that to my woman? It's a motherfucker, right? If, if, if I can do it to my kid, why I can't do it to my woman? Fuck you talking about? I take care of her. 
I make love to her. I make her happy. Why I can't whoop her? And I can whoop my kid. What's the different logic? Mm. You're gonna, you love your kid. And some of y'all love your kid. I don't know if you remember, but like five years ago, well, you can't beat your kids no more, your boy. I think so. They use that logic right there that you're using right now to think, to go ahead and break the system, to go ahead and make everything right. Yeah, they, they knew you were going to come out here with some shit like this. So they had, they put that shit in place, man. You hit your kids now, boy, you're going to jail, bro. The best thing, why you think all these kids, boy, you seen TikTok lately, bro? You see what's happening to these kids, yo, boy? You see what these parents be tricking these kids into, uh, teachers, like, these kids so gullible nowadays, all type of, right, no discipline. You feel me? Discipline must be taught. Fuck all that other shit. So y'all got to do what y'all got to do. Make sure no scars. You feel me? Go put a towel over them. Should be fake beat them. Do something. But y'all got to teach them, man. Y'all got to teach these kids, man. Kids more than you love your spouse or your woman. So you mean to tell me you wouldn't have put your love aside to intentionally bow? Mm. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> know that hurt. And watch this, know that hurt. Hurt this person that you say you love. Why I can't kick my woman when she down on the ground? Because I want my watch and my bag back from them. That's why you can't use the belt like you do with the kids. Is and I just want to say this. Whatever you use. I heard people say, well, boy, if he did that on camera, can you imagine what he did off camera? Went in there and fucked her. You know how a good fight is. <laughs> Drag up her ass in there, talk to her, fight, knock over some more shit. Next thing you know, we making love. Going to have on the baby. All good fight in and no matter how hard the abuse may be, we're gonna f afterward, and that make everything all right. That emotional roller coaster ride of the toxic relationship. We've all been in them. I know I have. So, so what's the difference of between hitting a woman and this being just outright abusive? Uh, that's between him and the woman. Mm. Cause I, I done stepped in some situations. Said, come on, man, come on, big old, don't do that. And the bra, he whooping her with a belt. My that, nigga yeah. her with a bell. My nigga Broderick. That way better than kicking her when she on the ground like you stated just moments ago. Come on now. You said this. This was your statement, my boy. You talking about some being here with a belt. Worse? It's worse? Right, come on now. You can't break no bones with a belt. Damn circle break bones kicking a bitch on the ground. Oh, hell, dog. Charles, you was hell, bro. You need to chill, bro. You need to chill and rethink your thinking. You is not thinking what you're thinking right now. So you got to go back in the lab and rethink what I said, chat. You're thinking. Oh, oh, back teeth out of Galveston. Whooping his bra with a belt. Mm. I jump in. Come on, big old homie. You doing too much. Bra, said, nah, that, it's doing too right, much. Nut. It's all right. At least he's not shit, punching me. I come on me. up out there and close the door. Mind my business. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. <laughs> shit. Because I know some of them, if you get involved, they both might like, turn on you. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask you that. You think you think sometimes that turn women on? I don't. Well, it don't turn them on, but this is a part of their relationship. They watch their mom and daddy do it. Homie, we've been in these toxic relationships since middle school, and yeah. and according to Glorilla, according to Cardi B, and all the rapping chicks that y'all love, these the best relationships. Mm. These the one they rapping about. The, this type, this this the one they brag about. The sexy That's red them. So what's That's wrong facts. with this? Yep, that's facts. Why y'all acting like it's a problem now? Cause y'all see her getting kicked on. You don't know how many times she done hit him across his head. Facts. Now that that, that, that why I would look confused with the pushing and shoving. Like shoving. You can't chill, chill. You can't restrain. You can't restrain a person. Well, this is America. There's only one other way to defend yourself. So y'all want us to. <laughs> I'm I'm asking. I'm I'm asking. Cause that's completely legal. So if you can't chill, chill. I'm perplexed. Hot, 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 nasty fight. Say, man, y'all stop, man. Y'all got to go. <laughs> By the time we get in the car, we back kissing. Mm, well, look, man, why you do that shit, man? Look what you done hit me on my head right here, man. You just come on now. Mm. We know plenty of people that's in this. They just ain't a billionaire. But if I got a billion dollars, you can't tell me I can't whoop now a woman I'm with. I got a billion? What happens to the billionaires that get caught for doing shit like this? What's, what's uh, going on with the nigga y'all talking about right now? P. Diddy. Is he still a billionaire? I'm just asking. Just curious. Oh. Is he still up there, though? 
I know he got legal fees. He over here paying out bread. I know he probably got no business going on right now because nobody want to work with that name right now until some shit get cleared up. I don't know about that last statement, Charleston. I think you go broke if you fuck it up. I think it fuck up the billions. Yeah, so I don't think you want to do that. Man, I can do whatever I want. Nah. -uh. Because they're around me for this. Nah. And this, this is the other side of the coin. So you can't make me believe when he was getting high, she wasn't getting high. Two crackheads. Come on now. Mm. Mm. He done sent her all around the world to sleep with some of the most richest and powerful men in the world. You think none of them rich men were Bam. whispering in her ear, I can take you away from this. You ain't got to do this. Because she was getting pimped the whole time. Why you with him? I hear why you got You think they ain't talking to her? Mm. Oh, no. Nah. She love this. She love this. All she wanted was some money. And we wouldn't have never heard about this. 